Hello, hello everyone! Um, if you just joined for the first time, my name is Katya and we're doing art here every Friday. Every Friday we're doing something different and we can we draw, we paint, we're going to be sticking today. So um, if you feel like joining us today, then welcome! Um, first of all, I want to share with you that I am super, super, super excited today because I have ordered this um, phone holder and it came, it came, it didn't take two months, it came actually in a couple of weeks and that means I have free hands, I don't have to hold my phone anymore, yay! So that means I can share loads of stuff with you, I can actually show you things and I can um, point it up and down so you can see the table and what I'm doing. So that's just a oh, huge bonus, huge! So I want to share something with you. Um, it's, oh, I've lost track, I don't know what video it is, video 6 or video 5, anyway, I can't remember, sorry, but we've done a few and uh, people have been um, sending me things and I couldn't share that with you because, you know, I didn't have enough hands, but I want to share some things, so, um, there you go, uh, here is from Eleanor, who did um, her portrait with her hand, a wavy face that we did, and here is another one from Harriet, the same. Well done, Harriet, amazing. Um, this was the apple uh, by Mahe. Yeah, Mahe from Manchester. And this is her little sister, did the ribbon writing that we did. Well done, that's beautiful, really, really good. Here is a monster, that was the first one that we did. And do you know, I can tell you now, I will not be po posting them, sharing them with you all because um, loads, loads of monsters that I had, but just a few, okay? So I have um, one from Milo, Bristol. It's cute, cute. And oh, this one is from Mr. Jennings' class. I don't know who it belongs to, I'm sorry, but it's um, from school in Belfast. So I just really like it. It's got a rainbow horn, it's cute, cute. So, um, oh, and this one is from Alia. Good girl, she's done too. So I have loads, and I just want to say the monsters that I have seen from, um, I have seen some amazing work from Mr. Jennings class in Belfast. I have seen some uh, amazing uh, drawings uh, from Isla and her family in Gloucester and I have seen some beautiful, beautiful monsters uh, from Malaga, from Miss Nikki, Nicholas, Nikki's Run, uh, Ramsden and Joe's, Miss Joe's class. So I'm sorry if I said that wrong but oh they were just fantastic and I know um, that there are people from all over the place. It's just unbelievable. I've heard that, you know, there are children drawing from Avis school in Qatar, there are children from Albania, from uh, Miss... Um, <laughs> trying to remember the first name and the second name, um, Miss Denise Barres, uh, her children drawing, and it's just, you know, unbelievable. Wow! All over the world. Amazing! How many wonderful artists, and it's just this is just a fantastic way to share it as well. So please do send them. If you can't do it yourself, ask your parents. Just take a picture and put it in comments. And I will, well, I'll try to share it or at least mention your name. So well done all of you guys. It's just unbelievable. Really, really good. I'm going to keep this all because it really cheers me up. Oh, sorry, it's really hot in my studio today. Whew. Um, another thing I want to share is something I have discovered. Do you know, I'm learning, just like you. I I don't know everything. I can draw, maybe I can do this, but there are so many things I don't know. And one of my good friends mentioned that she does digital drawings. I thought, what's, what's a digital, what's digital? No, digital art, no. Because mm, me and computers, mm, no. I mean, you saw my videos, shake your hands, holding phones, not my um, strength, but, I tried it and oh my gosh, I love it, I love it. I'm going to share this with you. This is the program I use. Um, I did pay for it, it was $7.99 and you pay once and that's it and you have it forever. Um, there are free ones as well, but I, just, I couldn't find the good ones, so, but there are free ones. So this is just an iPad. This one is called Ibis Paint, by the way, if, if you want to know. Um, so you click in the gallery 
and here are all the sketches that I've done. And do you know what? So like, for example, this one, I've done this one. This was uh, from a picture um, from my windowsill and um, one day I just sat down, you know, watching TV and doodling, doing this. Then the next day I came back to it, did a bit more, did a bit more. And the best thing that it tells you how long you spent on it and then you can play back. So I'm going to show you. Look at this, how amazing is this? So if you wanted to paint this after and you thought, oh, how did I do that? Well, it shows you. Oh, no, no. What did I say to you about me and technology? Not good friends. Right. Okay, so you click play. Oh, lower it down. And it just tells you step by step how you've done it. So if you want to paint it, you can think, oh, so basically I could do the same on paper. That is what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to make a present for somebody. And I've done a digital um, sketch from it. And um, I'm going to try and paint it. Oh, scary, but I feel good about it. So, so you can see. You can see how I'm building it up. Yeah. And you can smudge things. You can make, you can choose your paint. You can choose the color. You can um, choose the brush, you know, big, small, pencil, whatever. Even like oil paint or gouache paint, different effects. And it's just, it saves you so much time. So there you go, that's it. Great. And my children started to use it, so now I have to share. And I'm going to show you. So they can, they just go and say, Mom, can we, can we draw an iPad? Yeah, okay. And then, so I saw this one. <laughs> I saw this one of Sasha. So Sasha is nine years old, and she's done this unicorn. So when you click on it, she can see how she's done it. I think it's hilarious because she, she, she does stuff again and again and again and again. This one actually didn't take as long. And it just, it looks so awesome. Wow. And this was my um, four-year-old. She said she did an apple. So I had to play it back because I couldn't find it. Where's the apple? Apparently it was, look. This was the apple. It actually started off with an apple and a banana, I think, or something. And then she just thought, hmm, I'm going to add this and this and this. And I think she lost a bit of track. But then she added stars. I don't even know how to do stars. So amazing, you know, my children know more than me. But I just thought this is just something else, something different. So I thought I'll share this with you. Anyway, sorry, loads of talking today, loads of excitement. But today we are going to do decoupage. Decoupage is a French word, uh, means uh, to cut like I think it's decouper sorry I don't speak French so and uh, it means to cut to cut bits so this is what we're going to do I did mention to you last time uh, you will need napkins and look I'm going to show you so I have a napkin you know I have like a pack of napkins I always look for some with nice designs and uh, now look at this And when people come and they say, hmm, it's a nice vase. And then I put napkins and they go, oh, wow, is that a set? And I said, no, actually, I've just made that from that napkin. They go, oh, what, you made that? Oh, I thought, I thought you painted it. And then they have to take it and really examine it because they don't believe me. And they're like, but how, but how? But I can't see how you suck it in. Another one. Oh, hope nothing will fall. Look, here's a napkin. Here is a vase. They go. This was a hideous, hideous or oh, brown color uh, vase that I just, just hated. So anyway, I improved it. And this is what you can do. So um, this one that I showed you last time. So this was just a metal bucket. You can see it. That is. No, you can't. There you go. Now you can. Sorry, keep all my brushes. It's just a, like a metal. Don't know what it's for. A bucket from IKEA. And I painted it beige, and um, I just stuck napkins. And the napkins that I used were this one and this one too, because you can mix them. So I'm going to show you, because they look really, really good, and it looks like it's going to be really hard, but actually it isn't. Because let me just show you this straight away. This is my nine-year-old by herself. I did not help at all. She just did the whole thing. The only thing I helped is I painted the jar. But you don't have to. And uh, this one was my five-year-old. Did I say four before? She's five. 
I can't get used to it. So she did this by herself. I did not help her at all. So um, there you go. So it can be done. And this one is in a clear jar. I've got a candle burning there. Um, Sasha did this two years ago, also by herself with a tissue paper. So the same principle, but with a tissue paper. So all exciting, all exciting. Right, so the first thing you will need to do if you don't have all the things prepared, fine, just watch it and then you can do it after. So, um, I've got a jar. I've painted it pink with acrylic paint. Again, you can just use a, a clear one, not a problem. Then, you take PVA glue and you pour it in somewhere. Somewhere small, where it will be comfortable. Because look at me. This is a um, special kind of mod podge. It is special for decoupage, but you do not have to. Honestly, I've bought it because I thought, mm, you know, why not? But really, I used PVA glue for ages before, and you can see how runny it is. So PVA glue might not be as runny, so you need to add some water. So it's kind of, I'll show you, this consistency. Is that a brush I was going to use? I think so. Right, so I'm using a flat brush because I will, I will need, I will need something soft. You can also use like a sponge also, that's not a problem. But you can see that is very runny, quite runny, yeah? Very runny. And that's all you need. Ooh. Just, sorry. Right, so then I need to take, um, Choose a napkin. Which napkin am I going to choose? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Let's say I want this butterfly. Okay, I want this butterfly on this jar. So every napkin has three layers. So we need to get rid of these layers. This is the tricky thing. I don't have nails. <laughs> I don't have nails. So it can be really tricky for me. But. So there you go. So you can see, oh, actually this one I think has four. So you can see, look, sorry, one, throw away, two, okay, I'm just peeling it really, really carefully. And then I can see that it's still white, which means there's another layer. So I need to keep going. I need to get rid of all of them apart from the last one. Look, see, tricky. Look, there you go. So I'm getting rid of this layer. And then I have very, very thin, very thin. You can see the difference. You can see that there is no white. It's see-through. Perfect. Now, what I'm doing, you, you can use scissors. If you have something like a butterfly, like, and you really want to make, you don't want to see, there's like, um, sorry, there is uh, letterings and stuff here. I don't want to have it. I can use scissors. But you also can just rip with your fingers, so it's up to you, okay? So I'll show you both. So I can, oh my gosh, I couldn't find it. <clears throat> couldn't find even bigger scissors. It's like the biggest scissors in the world to cut the tiny butterfly. Uh, really, you need very small scissors for this. <gasps> Not like me. Because we don't want your fingers stuck to the jar, do we? No, because that would be for Halloween. Okay. So here is my butterfly. Ta -da. Okay. I cut it as well as I possibly could with the scissors. Right, so then you decide where you put it. Like, I want to have it here. Okay? And what I do, I put glue on top of the butterfly. And look how I'm going to do it. Just watch it quite carefully, okay? So I... um. Get rid of some excess glue so it's not dripping. So it's not dripping completely. Okay, and then I put the brush in the middle of the butterfly and pull it to the right and then pull it, pull it to the left. Okay, that's it. I make it very, very, very um, careful. Yeah, careful strokes. Lightly, do not press on it because you'll pull, you'll pull the tissue. It's very, very um thin. There you go. 
you can't tell you, you already you cannot tell that it's stuck stuck in you just can't tell okay if I take another one sometimes you can have decoupage paper but honestly you don't need to no actually I don't want to use it so let's say I want this rose and I already got rid of the layers on this one okay and then my brush so I'm going to I'm going to just um no, sorry my chewed up nails that's a hideous habit if you chew your nails like me these don't it's horrible I'm trying to stop okay so it looks like this okay it looks like kind of you know, can you see kind of like um you know um they're not straight edges but that's fine actually it looks even better that way i prefer i prefer to do that okay so then again i decide where i'm going to put that rose i might put it just under the butterfly i put it like this and i'm going to do almost like start from the middle like i'm painting from the middle this way up and all around and all around and when it's stuck i'll go and do the same again always always apply the glue different directions okay and softly that's it and basically this is it this is decoupage and you can decoupage pretty much anything apart from i would say anything that's kind of like really plastic it's very hard because it's a slippery surface i've um decoupaged my crocs and I painted them first and I've decoupaged them and I was so happy, amazing. And I left them outside and it cracked on the paint, cracked on the sun. And it's just, well, oh, it looks even worse now. Oh. But anyway, and I did show you this before, but this one I'm very pleased with because I spent ages doing this one. So I, this, this is a jar. This is just a, um, this was a clear jar. I painted it red, then I painted it yellow on top. I have applied, there's a crackling medium that you can, the cracks the paint, but you don't have to. If you want to do this kind of effect, you can paint red, paint yellow, and then take something rough like a um, uh, scara from um, kitchen and just gently, gently scrub, and then you will see the red paint underneath. Then when it was all completely nice and, you know, um, got rid of, with a dry cloth, I got rid of all the little bits and um, I decoupaged on top or all this is napkin. And then after it was completely dry, I then varnished it. I used a floor varnish. You can use um, acrylic varnish. If you don't have any varnish, you don't have to at all. On this one, I didn't use a varnish, but you can see it's shiny. I used PVA on top. So the same glue that you use, you just go and you just literally just paint the whole thing, leave it to dry. The next day come back, paint again, leave it to dry. And the more layers you put, the thicker it will get and the glossier it will get. So it will be nice. So it just depends what you want to do. So um, there you go. There you have it. Decoupage. Um, it's a really good idea because very cheaply, and you know it doesn't really take a long time at all. I talk more than it actually takes. So um, very quickly you can make something. You can really um, change things. You can make things really cute. And um, um, like I said, I know this is all kind of flowery and um, uh, butterflies. So you might think, oh yeah, but that's for the girls. But that's because the kind of tissues we have. But if you have comic books, oh fantastic! Comic books are great. You can, especially they're like newspaper kind of um, material. So brilliant you can literally do the same thing apart from that if say if you have a box and you want to if you want to have oh right i gotta have a box i'm going to make a money box or something and i want to put um comic comic book on top of it fine you can do the same but if it's a bit thick then you might put pva glue first glue it and then do this again pva on top on top on top on top but please the same way the same way kind of around from the middle down sideways up sideways like almost like when you draw in the sunshine that's it that's it decoupage you can do it um, i'm looking forward to seeing your work if you want to share 
and um, also thank you very much everybody who share these videos it's you know it's really kind of you and it's great to uh, get more people involved in doing these kind of things because it is great so that's it guys you'll have things to do for the weekend and um, stay creative and um, enjoy the beauty around you your artists always look for the things around you they're always something to draw something to inspire you something to admire so I believe in you, I know you're a great artist and I'm looking forward to seeing you next Friday. Bye!